In the year 1968, a joint venture was established, a partnership between Israel and Iran. This alliance gave birth to the Eilat Ashkelon Pipeline Company, also known as EAPC. The primary purpose of this pipeline was to transport Iranian oil through Israel, then onto the Mediterranean. However, the winds of change swept across Iran in 1979 with the Islamic Revolution, leading to severed ties with Israel. Despite the political upheaval, the pipeline continued to operate, transitioning from a conduit for Iranian oil to a significant distributor of oil within Israel. Over time, EAPC nurtured ambitions to evolve into a leading trade hub. In a twist of events, Israel formed a new company in recent years, the Europe Asia Pipeline Co, or EAPCB, effectively replacing the original EAPC. This move was designed to maintain control over the pipeline's operations, ensuring the oil continued to flow. A shroud of secrecy has consistently enveloped the operations of the Israeli pipeline. An Israeli parliamentary committee ruled that EAPC can continue to operate in secrecy. This gag order, initially applied to EAPC, was extended for another five years and now includes its successor, EAPCB. This veil of secrecy has not been without criticism. A major oil spill in 2014 brought the company under scrutiny with questions raised about the transparency of its operations. However, the company's primary dealings including the sources of oil and its usage, remain censored. In summary, the Israeli pipeline, once a tangible link to Iran, continues to operate under a cloud of mystery. Despite its transformation from a transport route for Iranian oil to a major distributor within Israel and its subsequent reincarnation as a new company, the secrecy persists. This pipeline remains a silent witness to the shifting sands of time, politics and oil trade, its story shrouded in secrecy and its future as intriguing as its past.